Zack Snyder breaks silence on Justice League 2 to Netflix campaign. Zack Snyder has finally shared his thoughts on the possibility of Warner Brothers Discovery selling Zack Snyder's Justice League to Netflix. YouTube host Skywalker the Jedi launched the hashtag Sell Zack Snyder Justice League to Netflix movement on Twitter in late January. Instead of trying to convince Warner Brothers to hashtag Restore the Snyderverse, STJ took a different direction. From STJ's perspective, since DC Studios co-CEOs James Gunn and Peter Safran are pursuing a reboot of DC, Zack Snyder has no future there, thus, it'd be pointless to even try convincing them to do it. After all, Gunn already crushed the possibility of Henry Cavill coming back as Superman. Cavill's Superman is the heart of the Snyderverse. Without Cavill, there is no Snyderverse. In addition, Ben Affleck debunked Gunn's claims that he wanted to direct a project for DC Studios. He admitted, I would not direct something for the Gunn DC. Absolutely not. I have nothing against James Gunn. Nice guy, sure he's going to do a great job. I just wouldn't want to go in and direct in the way they're doing that. I'm not interested in that. Furthermore, Gunn previously revealed that he will recast Affleck's Batman in The Brave and The Bold. In other words, count out another key member of the Snyderverse. But the lesson that fans learned from that situation is perhaps Gunn isn't as honest as he continually argued. Which leads us back to Zack Snyder. In regards to Zack Snyder directing another Justice League movie, Gunn said he talked to him. Gunn tweeted that Zack Snyder has moved on from DC. He tweeted, Zack hasn't expressed any interest and seems to be happy doing what he's doing. In an online interview last night, Zack Snyder opened up about how he felt if WBD did hashtag sell ZSJL to Netflix. As with Affleck, we have a trust issue. Snyder acknowledged, The truth is, that would be amazing. Without a doubt, that's not what the anti-Snyderverse crowd wanted or expected to hear. In fact, a false rumor circulated that the upcoming three-day SnyderCon event was the director saying goodbye to DC. Of course, this piece of fiction coincidentally arrived when Shazam! Fury of the Gods sunk at the box office. It was such a commercial fail that star Zachary Levi threw out a shopping list of people to blame. Certainly, WBD would prefer if DC followers moved on from Snyder. Indeed, the initial half of Gunn's DC slate hasn't caught fire on social media. In contrast, whenever Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige announces the next batch of MCU offerings, the internet loses its mind. Still, many expected that answer. What's important is that Snyder remains interested. It shouldn't be a shock either. Snyder's dropped clues. On March 17th, Twitter user Snyder Queen tweeted his Dark Seed video and highlighted a hidden message, Don't Stop. That says everything about Snyder's desire to keep this going. 